Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today playing the uh, default single player <clears throat> Alpha 7.5. This is episode 4 of that series. So, we are currently sitting inside an HV that I have spawned with the loot that we multi-tooled from the POI from a previous episode. <clears throat> and I did a little bit of base work. Uh, not much, really. I just dug out a little bit more, uh, found some of the uh, Prometheum uh, nuggets while digging out the base a little bit more, so that was convenient. I also <clears throat> leveled up and chose a bunch of stuff. Here, I'll, we'll go into the uh, tech tree and I'll show you. So, I also made some stuff too. What I did is, oh, I've got some points left. Anyway, what I did is I took the assault rifle, <clears throat> which led to the assault rifle T2. So I took those both. Under tools, I took the multi-tool. Um, we are still only six levels, so we can't do the T2 drill yet. Under miscellaneous, I took the cargo box, small ammo box, and oxygen generator. And then under hover vehicle, I took all of this stuff, <clears throat> including the cargo box and harvest module. Very important. And I'm going to show you why next, plus the shutter door. And you can see that that's level five. If I had left the shutter door on the hover vehicle when I um, um, blueprinted it, it would have been a level five spawn so I didn't want to do that I made it I wanted to make it a level three so that's why I left it off because I knew I could just make it later <clears throat> um, and the base stuff I don't think I've taken anything for the base yet so let's go ahead oh I took the ventilator okay <clears throat> excuse me I got a really bad frog in my throat right now uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hangar doors and We'll take the cannon turret, sure. Uh, one point left, can't do anything with that. Not a big deal. Uh, and that looks like the patrol vessel coming to visit again. He's been by, he was by while I was waiting for the HV to spin up and spawn. <clears throat> oh well, he can't get us through the dirt. Now, what I'm, I'm just going to jump out for a second and show you. So the hover box <clears throat> is basically just literally a hover box. This great, the shutter door does not come with it because I added that later. The O2 does not come with it and I, I added that later. <clears throat> and, oops, now I get stuck. And I added a fridge and the armor locker. And you can see, <clears throat> I was able to do that all from the mobile constructor. See, the mobile constructor can make all this stuff, whereas the survival constructor can only make some of it. So I was able to make the make an O2 generator and a water generator. I put those out already, so those are already generating oxygen and water. <clears throat> And I have also made a harvest module, some spotlight blocks. I made a, uh, an assault rifle. I believe I cannot upgrade that yet because I don't have any cobalt alloy, right? So I'll have to, I'll have to make a large constructor to do that <clears throat> or loot it. Anyway, so what I did do is I made a regular assault rifle, a thousand bullets for it and an ore scanner. I also was able to equip my multi-boost and insulation boost using the armor locker that I put on the HV. And you can see we're really close to level seven. So today what we need to do is we need to go out and get some, get some more stuff. We need pretty much everything. We need just everything. <clears throat> So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up on O2. And what do we got in the fridge here that I can eat? <clears throat> it's 
some salami, corn. I don't want to actually use the corn. I want to turn those into sprouts. So I'll just eat one of my salamis right now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and install this stuff. Okay. So. And... Oh, is it going to... It's going to clip. I'm going to have to move this. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. Come on. Engines. Now, I'm not going to turn the oxygen on. I don't even... Well, I did fill it. But that's okay. I can actually just draw oxygen from the... Uh, directly from the um, oxygen station <clears throat> that I put inside the cockpit. So let's lift off. I can't lift off much. But... Okay, so I don't want to leave myself too much out in the open just in case the CV comes by and starts shooting me up. So let's just back up a bit here. And, oh, wow, did I ever, let's go forward a little bit then. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> this should be fine. Let's just settle it down. And, wow off then. Jump out. Open the hatch. And we'll put the gear on. So we're going to start with the harvest module. We'll put it right there. <clears throat> and then the pot lights, we're going to put those one up. And we'll do this. And like this. <clears throat> okay. So, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, the CV's, the patrol vessel's gone. I don't see it on my radar. So let's take this puppy up there. Come on. Get up there. And we'll jump in. And yeah, I go to turn the engines on. <clears throat> okay. So, let's get out of here. And... I don't see it anywhere. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly grab some of this oxygen right here. Now I have... I could create all the necessary means to power up the base, but I chose not to because that will trigger drone attacks, and I, I'm not ready yet. I don't have enough fiber to create all the ammo that I'm going to need. I'm going to take these bottles here. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's put some more. Let's just fill it. Come on. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. And I don't really need the water right now. And, hmm. Oh, that's the like, why? What? So, oh, it only stacks 20. Well, okay. They made the stack smaller. I'm not sure why they would do that, but... Okay. <clears throat> Let's take this out. So now that we have a harvest module in the front, what that'll allow us to do is get some wood. And I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if many people are aware of this, but these flowers in the water are actually trees. Oh, it's not going to let me? It's not going to let me do it while I'm... But I know it will if I point right down. Yeah. Crazy, eh? Come on. Oh, come on, really? There we go. See? They give you wood, but they're a pain in the ass. So there's trees over here. So, let's check out what's over here. And there's critters everywhere. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a bunch of these trees. See, we're getting wood logs, which is awesome, because that's what we need for fiber. 
I did pick a bunch of fiber initially when we were running around smashing rocks when we first crash landed, but uh, don't really need to do that anymore now that we've got the harvest module. Just want to grab a bunch of these really quick. So we, we don't need a lot to start. I can always go get more. But what did that give us? So da, 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 da. so we've got 21. And let's go into the constructor. I'll show you. So 21, it requires one nitrocellulose to make 50 bullets. <clears throat> Nitrocellulose requires 20 for one plant fiber. <clears throat> so that means we can make five, that's a thousand, we can make a thousand bullets from one fiber. And what does that require? Tw you get 20 for one log. So a thousand. So we can make 20,000 rounds from one wood log. Okay. So yeah, we don't need a lot of wood. We don't need a lot of wood. But we still need all the other resources, including stone and iron and silicone and copper and all these rocks can be gathered with the harvest module. Voila! See, now the drawback is you don't get XP. But it's really... For, for being able to do this in safety, I think is a good trade-off. So we'll grab all these. Come on, really? There we go. <clears throat> Excellent. Get this tree out of my way. Thank you, thank you. Looks like a rock there. Went up in a puff of smoke as soon as I started. Harvesting it. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see how easy it is now getting resources with a hover vehicle and a harvest module, you're pretty much off to the races. And what some people might not realize what the harvest module also can do is you can attack things with it. And I'll just slowly go backwards and let them grind themselves on it. And look at I'm getting XP. I want to keep them a little bit closer to this guy. So we'll... Oh, I leveled. And we'll kill this last guy here. There we go. Okay, so with this box top design, all I have to do is jump out, you can still see that I am completely enclosed inside the cockpit. So my temperature is under control. If I actually had a ventilator in here and oxygen, it would be oxygenated. But also what this allows me to do is spawn my drone in safety. And it also breaks line of sight, so critters can't see me. 
they won't aggro me. But what I can do is I can go around with my drone now and loot my kills. So at this point, this is a XP machine. I can I can harvest wood, rocks, and creatures with the harvest module. Creatures give me XP. Wood gives me well wood for for fiber <clears throat> and obviously harvesting the creatures for meat. So now that I got a bunch of meat, what I can do is I can put this stuff into my mobile constructor and turn it into salami. How cool is that? Get another top that up. Okay, so I can also fill my oxygen up because I put that inside here all safely. So there we go. I'm I'm ready to rock and roll again. Now, obviously, I can't really take any drones on because I got no weapons on this. But we'll just harvest some more of these guys. Those are going too fast. one of them. Now remember this is hard mode so these guys have way more hit points than normal. Killed another one. I don't want to get them too separated. There we go. That was an easy 4,000 XP. And I don't see any drones. I don't see the patrol vessel. Okay, so let's just jump out for a sec, spawn our drone, and go pick up the meat. And that's why I wanted to get that hover vehicle up and running, just exactly because of this. Uh, it's way safer getting all the um, necessary materials that I need to start off with here with this hover vehicle with a harvest module. <clears throat> so there we go. We can grab this out of here. I'll just put this stuff in the fridge for now. Okay, that doesn't need to be fridge, nope. Okay, jump back in. Now there could be, we're on the low planes. I think we need the high planes. Oh, there's a copper node. What I really want to do is find silicone that's fine I mean I still got a oh what is over there something is over there flying towards me don't know what it is let's take a peek let's take a peek take a peek can't see I don't know and what are you? What are you? Oh, he's guarding that silicone node. Whatever. We'll head down here.
go up here. Let's take a look up here. Uh, I guess I should raise my hover height, make it a little easier to fly on the bumpy train. See how dangerous this would be by motorcycle because for starters you can't really navigate this terrain with a motorcycle so you'd have to jump off on foot and then immediately get ganked by dozens of critters. Oh there's a golem. There's a golem. Let's get this rock. Really what I need to do is I'm gonna go go probably mine that Prometheum node. But first, we're going to kill this golem. So let's lower ourselves down. Okay. And then we're just going to go up to him and slowly back up. Let him grind himself on my harvest module. There we go. Ooh, 2100. He's worth some awesome XP. Let's jump out and see what he's got. Oops. There we go. Yeah, whoa. Holy crap, Prometheum. Whoa, look at all the Neo and Cobalt. <laughs> what? That's insane. Uh, let's just go find more golems. So we're on the high plains, right? That's where they spawn, high plains. Okay. <clears throat> So let's look for some more in the high plains here. High plains, high plains. And... Oh, we've got... Ooh, nasty, nasty alien assassins out, so that could be bad. Alien assassins. Come on. Nothing really? Okay. I don't think alien assassins have anything on them worth killing them for, so... High Plains. Any more golems? Oh, there's spiders. Cut down some orange trees. Get some more logs, why not? Why not? So you gonna bloody guy almost walked right into my Okay, <clears throat> bunch of stones here. Lots of nasty critters out. Plains. Come on, golems. Give me golems. Oh, there's one. Nice, level eight. Oh, I pissed that guy off. Okay, so I'm going to have to kill him now. Oops, going too fast. Well, he took forever to kill him. Okay, let's grab this guy's goodies. Come on, big score, big score, yeah! Wow! Okay! Um, I, 
I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, there's another one. Woo! Not to, not to mention the big XP for them too. Wow! Magnesium! <laughs> wow! Okay, let's find more golems. <laughs> more golems! Smash these rocks. Something down over there. Settlement. So that must be a drone. Oh, a couple drones. Oh wait, that's the No, that's the settlement I but I Oh the drain drones got replaced. Okay. Whatever. I already pretty much gutted the place of anything worth value. Oh, there's a there's a golem. Come on. Am I gonna piss off everyone? Yep, got him pissed off there. Okay. Oh my god, these guys... Really? Oh, there's another golem. You gotta be kidding me! Why can't I hit them? Oh, there's one of them. Two of them, good, okay. Grab this guy. That's just awesome. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I might as well grab these guys' bits. Might have some meat on them, yep. I need the alien tooth and parts too for for medical stuff okay where was that other golem right there and it's gonna piss this guy off too oh no okay get him Wow. We've got 250 cobalt ore. Over 100 neo ore. Wow, it's just just piling in. Piling. I don't even really need to go mine promethium at this point either. With a small stack like that, that'll keep me going a little while. Okay. 
some more of these rocks. Golems. I know you want to jump on my harvest module. Just come get ground up. Just cut down trees to get to the rocks. So as you can see, without actually, the only node I actually even mined was that Prometheum one, the small one where I started my base. Other than that, all my other resources come from rocks and the POI. And now looting these, look at that, level 9 already. Crazy, eh? Wow! Wow! Big score! <laughs> That's insane. Oh, shush. Oh, I don't want to get too close. They'll come after me. They'll see me. Come after me. I'm still in high plains, so... Oh, there's another golem. Just hit ninth level. Okay, so we've still got quite a ways to go. Okay, these guys might aggro if I attack him, but yeah, that one guy did. Okay. I can't really see if I'm... I can hear him though. There we go, I got him. I've still got these iron deposits that I could go after, but I don't need to right now. Okay, what's this guy got? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Who needs guns? Who needs guns? I've got blades on the front of my vehicle. Guns. Pfft. Let's keep looking. We're still in the high plains. Still in the high plains. Oh, I should be actually jumping out and harvesting these. All this stuff is medical stuff. So if I bring this guy over to kill him.
and then yeah I think what I'll do is I'm gonna risk jumping out here even with that one assassin over there so let's get my gun equipment and oh, I need some more O2 let's make sure that that's all topped up again okay Okay, turn the light on. Oh, actually, I have night vision now, don't I? Yes, I do. So, although it's really hard to see when the light is on, I'll just turn my headlights off. Okay, let's jump out. And if that guy comes after us, I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him in the face. Come on. Really? Are you... Oh, that was weird. Come on. Lemon spikes. See, all these things are good for crafting medicine, I believe. or have a medicinal value all on their own. Oh, he did he spot me? No. Nope. I guess he can't see as far at night. Oh. He spotted me now. Haha! Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, he was climbing up there. That's uncool. Okay. planes just all these assassins everywhere uh, let's go. there's the there's the havoc rescue module let's go Take a look at and see how destroyed it is. Oh, and there's some bigger rocks over there. The harvest module can actually harvest those. It just it takes a long time. Pretty much the entire thing, I bet, right? So, what's left? What's left? There is stuff left in there. Okay, I don't see it. It's not creeping up on us, is it? No, okay. Let's, um... Let's just lower this down here. And we'll jump out really quick. I'm just gonna grab some oxygen here. And I've got a multi-tool with me, okay. So, not sure, can I? Oh, it's still got a core? I wouldn't be able to go into the uh, Took out the generator and the fuel tank. Damn, I was actually wanting to salvage the generator. 
Uh, okay. So that's okay. We'll take the rest of the stuff then. Now, wasn't there some? Wait, no, those were glow grow plots up. Oh, it did it actually? It took out the grow plots. Why? 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 We'll take this. And oh, crap! I'm getting XP for that. That's not good. That means that's set to public. I need to set that to private, or else I cannot get full blocks. I want this fridge. Thank you very much. And I'll take the door too. Thank you. I'll take this tech equipment. Nice. I'll take the ventilator. Even though it looked beat up when I uh, go place it, it'll be brand new. <laughs> take that. Oh, there's stuff in it. Oh, nice. I don't know how I missed that. We'll take some of the. Oh, nope. Take that. We'll take that. We'll take some of this furnishing deco. Take some of these lights. We'll take the shower. And the toilet. This door. Well, I'll try. It's not letting me. Okay. Okay, the rest is just pretty much just metal now. I've got all the good bits out of it now. Let's take this light. Yeah. It took out the generator and the grow plots. The only things that I actually wanted. Of course. Oh well. Oh well. Oh! There's a CV! <laughs> <laughs> so let's run away I think it's time to go home we'll head back to base and there's that other Prometheum there but with the CV with the CV coming it's funny it's coming to to shoot it up again it's just boy that 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 survival camp is such a red herring unless you can get that up and running with a turret uh, right off the freaking bat then you might as well not because <laughs> so there's a whole ton of rocks here that I could have came over and <laughs> okay well We can get those later. Lots of creatures about. Okay. I'll have to lower down a little bit to fit in here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Turn around. Yep. Okay, let's just park it here. And we'll turn off the engines. Conserve power. Fill that back up. So let's take a look at what we got here. We ended up... Wow, let's grab all that. So we ended up with like 250 iron, 90 promethium, 34 magnesium, 134 silicone, 225 copper, 160 neo, 294 cobalt, and then some parts and plants, the alien plasma. So that's excellent. So all this stuff I will be putting into the base. I'll just be reusing it. A couple of tech equipment deco which is fantastic because I can turn those into scanners uh, 79 wood logs that's that's gonna go a long way so we're gonna put this stuff into the mobile constructor
That's okay. That's good. That's good. So, let's take a look. Um, we're going to be able to make a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. 79 wood. We'll be able to make whatever we need in the way of ammo now. Excellent. So, I'm going to get these cranking. And you can see I can only I can't do cobalt. Uh, not with the not with this constructor. Now I'm also going to start making the base parts. So let's go into our tech tree and unlock a bunch of stuff. I'm almost level 10. So that's awesome. Okay, so Let's make sure we pick up some of this stuff. Let's do the sniper rifle. We'll do the explosive device. Okay. Uh, shotgun, don't need it yet. Tools, the T2 drill, of course. Um, I'm going to take the texture tool just because the don't really need the large ammo or the hydrogen yet. I will. Uh, we'll take some lights for the HV, fuel tank, minigun turret, we're going to take the hover, thrusters, we're going to unlock all this stuff, because the next thing we're going to do is trick out the HV. Actually, no, the next thing we're going to do is actually start the freaking base. Uh, force field emitter blocks, sure. Okay, so let's make sure we can make stuff that we need. Unlock that. Unlock the fuel tanks. Unlock grow light. Unlock the fridge. Unlock armor locker. And I can't make a repair station right now anyway. No, it's a scosium. These are automatically unlocked at zero level. Okay, at level one, I should say. Okay, so what else? I got seven points. <clears throat> Not going to start on the small vessel yet. Uh, elevator block, okay. Uh, we'll take the armor. Okay. Okay. And it can make all this stuff, which is fantastic. It cannot make the turret or the guns for itself, as you can see. It can make armor, okay. And that's how I made the ore scanner too, was for that. Um, well, I'm going to let this stuff spin up. And I think we're going to call this episode here. So... If you like this episode, like and subscribe. If you want to be notified when the next episode is posted, uh, make sure that your subscription, that you subscribe and you also select notifications. Other than that, guys, next episode, um, off camera, I'm going to get all the crap together and built for the base. Uh, except for stuff that I can't do without a large constructor. So... Um, I'll be able to get all the bare necessities ready. I'll, I'll finish constructing the rooms in the base and stuff like that. And next episode, we'll install the equipment and um, we'll probably get drone attacks right off the bat as soon as I put in the uh, generator. So we'll make sure that, that everything's in place, ready to go. I'll make some turret towers that are ready to go. And as soon as I turn on the base, we're going to get some turrets made and some some ammo for those turrets made. And then we're going to get those turrets mounted so that if the CV shows up, the turret should take care of all of its little personnel 
uh, anti-personnel turrets that it has on it um, and hopefully neuter it that way uh, and it'll also the the turrets will also take care of any drones that come along so so that's the plan uh, we're doing good we're doing good we've got um, lots and lots and lots of, of stuff now uh, and the next step is the base so we're gonna get the base up and running and yeah that's gonna be awesome well guys until next time I hope you guys have an awesome day <laughs>